Well, I tried pounding the <clears throat> the hub assembly out of the steering knuckle, and it completely fell apart. But it appears as if there was already a problem here. Like it's <clears throat> there was like no no grease inside that whatsoever. So I can't get the rest of that out of there. I tried pounding it off. It ain't coming out. It's gonna have to go to a shop get returned to the junk area where it came from it's a used auto part I don't know I got the tag there somewhere so Of course, I already showed that the frame is bent, right? I can't get this off. <clears throat> There's no set screws holding it in. See? But it won't come off whatsoever. I sprayed it with a PB Buster. You know, spray blast. Rusty stuff. Nope. Still won't come off. He doesn't want to sink any money into it. <clears throat> Getting all mad at the dad about about the repair. Then I have the father-in-law saying. Why don't you get a new car? <laughs> uh. <clears throat> this came from the junkyard though. But it had the hub assembly in it. So that's a huge problem. No, I don't have a torch kit or anything like that. Tinkin. That's a good brand, actually. I don't know. What would you do? Fix it? Buy a brand new one? What should I do? <clears throat> a new one is a couple hundred dollars. And he doesn't want to spend... Well, I told him it's about two and a half hours on a frame machine to straighten that frame correctly because once I start doing it the hillbilly way, tying it to a tree or using a porta power, no body shop's going to no body shop's going to want to touch it then after that. So I'm like, you'll be stuck with the repair that you get. Which it probably will never be correct ever, you know, af ever afterward. <clears throat> After that happens, it'll be a it'll be a game over. Love the family, but you know, wow. I'm gonna be wound up over. That old fan probably still works.
what's that character's name from? From uh, The Simpsons. The dude that's always stepping on a rake. Is that Quagmire? He goes, <laughs> <laughs> Life under the Joliet sign. Onwards. Well, I stopped off at the at the muffler shop, and uh, well, they gave me all these pieces here, and they were able to get that remainder of. Uh, I think I'm gonna throw that all the way up there. There's another the part. Don't let me forget it, kids. Whatever you do. dollars first depending on where you go sure you, you could go to a rock auto or something if you want to wait until after the new year No pallets. Oh yeah, no. I'm, oh, I know. I got it. Nothing. Nothing missing. Yeah. yeah. Hey, you put that TV over there, or like no, the gas bottle. No, yeah. I didn't. pictures of like what I'm doing with this. Some guys have been putting uh, propane bottles and stuff into the scrap. They throw it over towards my way. I'm like, nope. Didn't come for me. I have a YouTube video. Definitely gonna have to clean this out right here. Where it's like a little, bit, a little bit gnarly right there, but beat spending two hundred, three hundred dollars. Way out at fifty fifty seven twenty there. That's about 400 and something pounds only. 
Okay, kids, watch your step. For that little pile of uh, scraps. What did we get? So for 460 pounds, we got 51 bucks. The rounding worked in my favor today. 40 cents for free. That's half a Benji there. For that little pile, it's not too bad, right? So I got the pallets in here. I still have that generator. I didn't want to wait in line to get rid of those two rotors. I was like four or five cars deep. Half an hour wait time half an hour wait time to get rid of two two rotors nah I'm good I'm good so he's next to it we'll pile them up pile them up in the compound I think I don't know who knows get rid of them next time right Always a, a little careful there. Wow. Remember last summer when that truck was like almost mint condition? Not anymore. Here at good old AutoZone. In my opinion, it's so much better than the competition across the street. I mean, I don't know. Surface did get a little bit damaged from the from the chisel because he had such a hard time getting it off. Should be okay though, I guess. You can see where the one chisel went that way, and he put a smaller chisel in there too. And it took all that to like pop that thing out. He had it on this huge monster vice. Like the vice was like the size of that compressor right there for that generator <clears throat> all right let's see what we come out with I just want to get this thing back on the road again <laughs> right those that have been watching my show just understand <laughs> Oh, why are we even watching this guy? He's a Muppet. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> no torque wrench, I guess. The King Unboxing. Not serviceable. Whatever that's for. We can unbox at home, but I'm excited. I get excited over silly stuff. It's covered in that. I don't even know what kind of oil it is. Well, hopefully this is what does it. Because if not, I don't know. 
there was trying to get this done on a nickel and a dime where my son is anyway expecting miracles so after I sand after I sand this clean that really good I'm going to put this uh, anti-seize on there to plus out of all my tools I could not for the life of me find a decent needle nose pliers I probably have about 40 of them to uh, disconnect the old ABS line the sensor line from it's attached with the brake line also Will I get it at least where the truck is movable today? I don't know. You know? <clears throat> well, if it all works out, thank you, AutoZone, even though they're not a sponsor. That would be actually awesome if they were. May I choose this place over the competition? I choose you, Pikachu! <laughs> Remember that? How popular that was? Like about, I don't know, 15, like 15, 20 years ago? Every kid was into Pikachu. Uh, it's nice and iced over, eh? Nice sunny day out though. <clears throat> well, we continue to do our work under the Joliet sign. Onwards. 